on solos. That was Caroline Niederhauser on the trumpet and Mr. Rock Wehrman on the piano. Good evening. My name is Mr. King, and I am the director of bands here at Strongsville High School. Welcome to our jazz concert this evening. Uh, we have a guest, several guests with us tonight. And uh, first I wanted to introduce is um, a colleague and mentor of mine. Uh, it was a professor, uh, he's a professor at Cleveland State University for jazz keyboard. Uh, our piano player unfortunately hurt his, his wrist uh, this weekend. And, uh, and we're so gracious to have, please why don't you help me welcome Mr. Wehrman, Rock Wehrman with us tonight. The next piece uh, that we're going to play for you, uh, we're going to bring out a special guest, and he's going to play with us, and again, uh, later in the evening with the Community Jazz Band. Uh, his name is Mr. Steve Cortica, and just a quick word on him before we bring him out. Um, he is from the Middleburg Heights area, and I know Mr. Mahalko, uh, who's the director of the jazz band later in our community jazz band, a mentor of mine, uh, was the connection to be able to bring him out here with us. And um, so it, Mr. Cortica is recently uh, on the Grammy Awards. He's performed with, uh, he currently tours with Lady Gaga. He was on Tony Bennett's last concert uh, with him and Lady Gaga. And his resume uh, goes on and on. So please, let's welcome Mr. Cortica to the stage. <laughs> this piece was a commissioned work, uh, and it was dedicated to a student uh, who passed, from, uh, had a, a heart defect. And uh, the beginning of this piece starts out with a pulse that you'll hear, um, and that represents the strength of the heart and uh, his love for music. This piece featuring Mr. Steve Cortica is entitled El Abrezo. Thank you. 
Big round of applause, Mr. Steve Cortica. For our next number, we're going to feature from bassist Charles Mingus, Better Get Hit in Your Soul. Uh, we're going to feature Mr. Rock Wehrman, uh, Ms. Mercury Lawson, and Ms. Sedonacek on the altar. Thank you. I want to say a special thank you to our students up here. 
This has been a very busy, a very busy semester for us uh, from our Walt Disney World trip, um, state band contest, um, and just all kinds of testing and testing and testing. And um, these students come in after school for jazz band twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays. And uh, they come in because they love to learn this American style of music jazz. Let's give it up for these students and their hard work. <laughs> For our last number, we are going to close with a tune made famous by Jaco Pastorius. And we're going to welcome out to the stage with us one more time. Won't you please help me welcome out Mr. Steve Cortica.
Mr. Kurt, take it, Mr. Rivers. One more time. Thank you, Mr. Kurt.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We are the Strunksville City Jazz Swing Band, and that first selection was arranged originally by Pat, Pat, Patrick Williams and adapted for tonight's performance by our own Don Kubek. We are truly honored to have Steve be featured in solo with our band tonight. However, we were disappointed that Lady Gaga couldn't come with Steve and make the trip. But wait, we have our own Lady Gaga singing the Gerald Wilson arrangement of the jazz standard Satin Doll. Please welcome our own Strongsville resident and BW alumni, Cindy Smith. Thank you. One name that was omitted from tonight's program is Dick Ingersoll. Dick Ing Ingersoll is filling in for us on alto sax tonight, and we are very pleased to have him join us. Our next selection will feature Steve and our Barry sax player, Don Kubik, along with our drummer, Scott Mahalko. Titled One for Otis, this is a Don Menza original and is again adapted by our own Don Kubik for the band. So, fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the ride of One for Otis.
Steve Cortica, ladies and gentlemen, and Don Kubik. Much of our music tonight has been provided by Don Kubik. Don has an extensive personal library of jazz big band music. At this time, we would like to thank Don for providing us with these wonderful arrangements and recognize his talent at adapting them for us. Don. A bit of trivia. It came to my attention that one of Steve's former private saxophone teachers was also mine and Dick Ingersoll's clarinet teacher. <laughs> Mr. Basodi would have said, practice at home. <laughs> it, would, it would be remiss of us not to recognize our late teacher, Mr. Joseph Basodi, from the former Ridge Records of Parma, where his studio was. If we could have a round of applause for Mr. Basodi. <laughs> at this time, just to kind of break things up, I asked Steve to say a few words to you. And he was like, oh, like, what, man? And I was like, what's Lady Gaga's real name? <laughs> Secondly, how did you meet her? And how did this all happen? So, Steve. Well, uh, first of all, this would have never happened if it wasn't for the great teachers and uh, great instruction that I received over the years of Mr. Ken Mahalko and a lot of other just notable individuals. One of the first gigs I ever did, jazz gigs I ever did, was with this band. And most of the people in the band that are on stage right now were at the gig. We have video footage to prove this that I will later release. So I think that that's pretty awesome and a testament to the healing powers and the, just the greatness of being a musician and a jazz musician. Um, to answer these Lady Gaga questions, I'm sure there, there are questions. Uh, her real name is Stephanie Germanata. And I met her in New York through a great friend of ours named Brian Newman, who is also a Cleveland native, a trumpet player and we got to be her jazz band by some crazy stroke of luck. I always tell people that I played the musical lottery and the numbers all came up correctly. So I've been just really lucky and blessed to be here with uh, everybody tonight and thank you all for letting me play with this awesome band. It's been a dream come true to get to do this. So uh, thank you. And Antonio Carlos Joby brought us this jazz standard, and Eric Richards arranged it. Featuring Steve, and please welcome back to the stage our own talented Miss Cindy Smith singing The Girl from Ebenema. I got the eggs.
just like taking it to a whole new level. Thank you, Steve. Thanks, guys. Before we play our next selection, we would certainly be remiss if we did not thank Royalton Music, Yamaha Musical Instruments, the Strongsville Community Band Board of Trustees, the Strongsville City Schools, the Strongsville Instrumental Music Boosters, Mr. Brian King, and Mr. Ken Mahalko for sponsoring and making this all possible for Steve's appearance with us and the Strongsville High School Jazz Band. And lastly, we thank Steve for coming back and sharing his talents. If we could have a round of applause. This next tune speaks for itself as far as the title. This is the Horse Silver composition and Steve's arrangement of Filthy McNasty.
Thank, thank you, Steve. Thank, thank you all for coming today. I really appreciate this. Uh, and I really want to thank Brian and, and his the Strongsville High School Jazz Ensemble. What a great group of people. Guys, if, if you're out in the audience, the Strongsville kids. You know, I, I started teaching here in 1961, and I always told the kids that I had, I said, you are the cream of the crop. Well, yesterday I had a chance to spend some time uh, at their rehearsal because Brian was sick. And you know what? They still have the cream of the crop here at Strongsville. And um, this is for nostalgic reasons. Yesterday, Steve said, Ken, how about doing um, it, things ain't the way they used to be? And when Steve, were you in, in high school then or in college? My second year of college? His second year of college, by the way, he played with us when he was in college. Every summer, he'd come back, he'd play better, then nobody wanted to play a solo after him. Because they felt better, <laughs> but it kept getting better and better. But this was one he remembered, he wanted us to re to play it because he said he made a recording of himself and he wants to compare what he sounded like then is what he's going to sound like now. So we are going to actually finish this, this program off with things ain't what they used to be and we've got solos by our piano player, our great piano player, Mike Elkins, <laughs> Steve, our bass player, Bob Allen, and my favorite person in the band, my son, Scott, on drums.
Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Rob Allen. Ladies and gentlemen, the Strongsville City Jazz. <laughs> Brian here, Brian King, where are you, Brian? Well, anyway, Cindy, come on out here. Thank you.